Hey y'all, it's your girl C Lock, and I'm back with another video. So in my last video, I had a nine month lock update and I was talking about how some of my locks are like this at the roots. So what I, and then I said that I wanted to get that part crocheted because this part's not gonna lock. Like this is my virgin hair. It's not gonna lock. The lock starts right here. So basically this is what I'm left with with my lock. My locks to me are perfect. I love my locks, but that's the only thing that I don't like about my locks. And a lot of my locks are like this. So what I did is went on Amazon and I got these crochet hooks. This crochet hook size is the 0 0.5 millimeter. They have different uh, sizes. They have a 0 0.75. I'm not too familiar with the sizes and stuff like that, but they have different sizes. The 0 0.5 millimeter is the smallest that they have. Um, I didn't want too big. And then they have single head, double heads, and triple heads. Being that I'm only going to be crocheting this part, I felt like I only needed the single head. I feel like the double and triple head is great for instant locks, but um, uh, I felt like this size was necessary for what I'm going to try and do. So I was going to get it done, but I was like, why get it done when I can do it myself? I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of crocheting locks, instant locks, attaching locks and it's basically all the same method so i'm going to try and do this it's gonna be my first time doing it but i'm on camera and i'm gonna do it it's my first time so let's just see how it goes <laughs> all right y'all so i just opened it um this is what the crochet needle looks like oh wait it's upside down <laughs> So this is a 0 0.55 millimeter. This is what the tip look like. So we're gonna try and do this. Um, I usually do everything on wet hair, but I'm going to crochet it with dry hair. I don't know if that's cause I, I, these videos when they do crochet their lock they don't really say if it's on wet hair or dry hair so I'm just thinking like maybe I should do it on dry hair because I don't want the hair to slip and be slippery while I'm doing it I just want to go ahead and try and attempt to do this so I'm gonna do it on dry hair and see how that goes y'all wish me luck please wish me luck all right so let's get started I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here All right, so what I usually see them do is take the hairs and kind of twist it and then go in. Ooh. In and out everywhere. And then twist while doing it is what I see them do. So I'm twisting while doing it. All right, let's do it again. And I'm stopping where it's already locked, which is right here.
um, am I doing it? <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is just keep going through this until I feel like it's uh, all the way. So basically what the crochet hook is doing is knotting up the loose hairs that I have and turning it basically into a, a lock, like an instant lock. The end of the crochet hook has a little hook. that's pulling in hairs, pulling in, pulling in from different directions, so. All right, it's getting a little easier, I think. You hear talking in the background, that's my neighbors. I'm trying to twist it and crochet it at the same time. It's a little challenging to do, but it's not hard. You guys think I did it? looks so much better oh my gosh so much better this see this is and then another thing like I don't want to retwist my hair often I only want to retwist like once every two months but being that my hair a lot of my hair locks in the middle of the lock I'm forced to retwist like once a month because that's when it's I don't like my hair manipulated like I like it to be wild and free you know I don't care for it to be wild and free but if it was like this and it didn't like it didn't start off lock in the middle it would be easier to maintain untwisted or without a retwist but being that it starts you know uh, some not all my locks are like that some of my locks are like that so the ones that have so much loose hairs those are hard to maintain with no retwist because the hairs i don't want the hairs to start growing out of my lock but my hair does great like the hairs grow in the lock and everything it's just like the hairs that are soft those hairs are just so loose that i don't want them to come out of the lock and start growing out of the lock so this is a great method Like, I could feel the crochet hook getting the hairs from here and take them here, getting the hairs from here, taking them here. That's why I'm trying to uh, twist it up also and tangle the hair, basically. That's what you're doing, basically, is tangling the loose hairs together. That's how instant locks are made. Uh, that's how I see they attach... Um, you know, locks to hair, lock extensions. That's how they attach lock extensions with this method. 
this is my very first time so if i'm not doing it right excuse me i'm trying to I'm trying to make sure I don't go into where I already have my hair locked. So this is what it looks like. It looks great. I love, I love. I don't care for the frizz. I actually love my frizz. So I'm not going to crochet it all the way down. I just want to crochet the roots where it was way too much hairs. So this is what it looks like. I think, uh... Maybe I'll go a little higher. And that way I can easily go without a retwist for months because I don't have to worry about my hair, uh, all the loose hairs that I had in the beginning of my lock. I'm actually thinking of putting a seashell at the end of this lock because I think this is my longest lock in the back. So I want to put a seashell. It's just my troubled lock, but now it looks so much better than what it was. So I'm going to continue working on it. But I just wanted to come on here and show you guys. It's not hard at all. This is my first time ever. I have never knew about a crochet hook until YouTube, until like I started watching lock videos. So this is my very first time. So it's not hard at all. Amazon, I think it was $6.99, of course, plus, ta plus tax. I ordered it literally yesterday, got it today. Um, this is the 0 0.5 millimeter. I think this is perfect for if you just want to, um, you know, tighten up loose hairs like I had in the beginning of your lock. I think the 0 0.55 millimeter is perfect. Um, if you have thicker locks, of course, you want to go for a thicker crochet hook. My locks are, I guess, a medium size, so and some of them are pretty small, like this one's pretty small, um, or wh whatever the case is. So, definitely, if you are having the same problem that I'm having, go ahead, girl, or king, king, queen, go ahead, get you a cr crochet hook. I was gonna pay to do it, um, pay someone to do it, but I was like, why pay someone to do it when I can do it, you know? So, um, I'm just going to do the rest of my hair. I just wanted to come on here and do one of my locks and show you how easy it is. As always, thank you for watching my videos. And I will be back with another video pretty soon.